Greetings. We are the students from University of St. Lasalle Bacolod of BSN 3G Group 3A. My name is Carl Jeffrey Hadriana, along with Joshua Nino Adrian Hermoso, Maryville Hasildo, Micaelo Hallorina, and Cristo Blasque. Today we will be presenting our poster entitled Factors to Online Fatigue Among Nursing Students. Objective of the study. This study aimed to determine the level of online fatigue and its factors among level three nursing students. Specifically, this study sought to answer what is the demographic profile of level three nursing students in terms of sex, section, type of internet service, and type of community. Next is what is the level of online fatigue of level three nursing students in terms of the factors, wholeness, visual, social, motivational, and emotional. Lastly, is to figure out uh, what is the significant difference between online fatigue among level three nursing students when grouped according to uh, the demographics, sex, section, type of internet service, and type of community. For the hypothesis, there is no significant difference between factors to online fatigue among level three nursing students when grouped according to sex, section, type of internet service, and type of community. Methodology. Research design. This study utilized the descriptive quantitative research design to collect quantifiable information for statistical analysis of the population sample. It allowed researchers to collect and describe the demographic segment structure. Participants. The participants of the, of the study were third-year nursing students to determine their struggles during online classes that resulted in their experiencing online fatigue. The study used Loewen's formula to compute the sample size of the population of 274 third-year nursing students with a sample size of 163. When it comes to research instruments, this study made use of a standardized questionnaire by Fauville entitled ZEF Scale or Zoom Exhaustion Fatigue Scale, which includes 15 questions that gather quantitative data. Moving on, we have the statistical two. For problem one, frequency and percentage was used to determine sex, educational attainment, such as the year level, type of internet service, and type of community. For problem two, mean was used to determine level of online fatigue, such as general, visual, social, motivational, and lastly, emotional fatigue. For problem three, with the profile variables of sex, section, type of internet service, and type of community, ANOVA and T-test was both used to determine the significant difference of online fatigue. Results and discussion. So under the demographic profile, we have sex. Seven out of 10 students are females. In section, sections A, B, C, D, E, and F have similar percentages, while G having the lowest. Yet, it still shows equal representation of all the sections. For the type of internet service, 86.5 or the majority of the participants are using Wi-Fi, while 8% of the participants are using mobile data, while 4.3% participants uses digital subscriber and there are 21.2% on broadband and none on cable. For the participants' community, two categories were used with the option between rural and urban. A larger participants were living in urban community comprising 83.4% of the total respondents. Meanwhile, 16.6% came from in a rural community. For the areas of online fatigue, general fatigue is considered as the highest with a mean value of 3.8, followed by emotional fatigue and social fatigue, which are also interpreted as high. Motivational and visual fatigue, meanwhile, are considered moderate with similar mean values of 3.4. Next, for the significant difference between online fatigue among level three nursing students and as to selected profile variables. All variables such as sex, section, type of internet service, and type of community were measured. And the result for all is that there is no significant difference and that hypothesis is accepted. Now let's proceed to the conclusion. In accordance with the internet service, the majority are using Wi-Fi followed by mobile data and the rest are a few participants using digital subscriber and broadband. 
when the level three nursing students was grouped according to sex, section, type of internet service, and type of community, there was no significant difference regarding online fatigue. This indicates that the level three nursing students experienced the same level of online fatigue regardless of their demographic profile. Nursing students who engage in longer video conferences have a higher probability of experiencing online fatigue than those who do so in shorter conferences. Overall, this research aimed to find out the factors to online fatigue among level three nursing students in the modern nursing student's life. For the recommendation, the researchers recommend to encourage male nursing students in the nursing profession and discourage sex discrimination. Instead of categorizing the type of internet service, it is rational to ask what kind of network, Wi-Fi, or mobile data the participant is using. A break in between classes and to lessen the workload involving the electronic devices. A scheduled personal time to rest and a time to spend with the family. A simulation before the actual exposure and for the clinical instructors to be vigilant towards the nursing students within the workplace. So that would be all. Thank you.